This is a $350 sealed booster box of Unified Mind. And today, I'm going to be opening up the entire booster box to see if we can get at least $350 worth of cards. Because there's some really big hitters in here, such as the Rainbow Mewtwo and Mew, Dragonite, and a ton more. Let's get this thing started. So you guys might notice on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, we're keeping track of every single hit that we get out of here. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you guys this entire box. Great minds work in Unity, and I think this is honestly one of the sort of like undervalued booster boxes that have tag team Pokemon inside. I think it's probably the cheapest if you compare it to like Unified Minds, um, Cosmic Eclipse, that kind of stuff. But I really like this set. So we have 36 booster packs inside of this box, and we just want to see how we do. Like, is it worth opening up a booster box that costs $350? But we'll start off here. Oh, man, the Espeon and Deoxys. So for those of you guys that don't know, the set was released in 2019. And so for Espeon and Deoxys, there's actually only a regular GX that you could pull out of here. So it didn't get, um, like, the rainbow in the actual booster packs that you could pull. But there's a lot of really cool stuff. So we're just going straight through these. And here's the code card. Some of the most expensive cards, or probably the number one most expensive card in the set, is going to be the rainbow Mewtwo and Mew card. Um, that card just raw goes for around um, $100. But in a PSA 10, I think it's more like a $400 card. So we got a non hollow out of this next pack. Hold on a second. I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away every single card that I pull in today's video. It's really easy to enter the giveaway. All you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And you got to let me know. How much value do you think we're going to get out of this box? Please don't say like $10. Then the Misty's favorite card, Full Art, is probably the second most valuable card in the set. The Full Art goes for around $75. Now, I will have like a best case scenario situation at the end of the video where I'll tell you guys what like if all the cards graded a perfect PSA 10, uh, the total value on those. But right now, we're just tracking the actual uh, raw card prices. We got Scraggy and we got our first GX, Aerodactyl GX. So we got $2.50 uh, worth of cards we do have the bulk reverses and stuff like that too which i will add up at the uh probably later in the video i don't know exactly when but uh, I'll, I'll include those as well so let's see if we go through we got joltik cubone reverse and we do have a hollow yuvelta hit i'm hoping we could get at least one secret right out of this booster box that would be really helpful but what do you guys think do you think it's worth opening up booster boxes um, specifically ones that are from Sun and Moon and X and Y that are definitely getting up there in price. Oh, dude, that's going to help a ton. We just got a tag team full art Raichu and a Lolan Raichu GX full art hit. This is what I'm talking about. This set, in my opinion, is definitely undervalued. There's some really nice card artworks. I mean, come on. You don't get tag team cards in very many sets at all. That is amazing. Whew. All right, we're going to put that one in a sleeve. This is actually... One of the most expensive cards in this set. This is a uh, top five or top ten. Um, it's like a $35 card raw. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go down below in the comment section and let me know what you think value-wise we are going to get out of this box. Like, what do you think? 30 bucks, 100 bucks, 200, 300, 400. Let me know down below what you guys think the total value is going to be out of this thing. Because I, I really have no idea. This is an experiment for me as well. Lucario and a big spider. All right, we continue. We continue. So... Some big hitters would be, you know, Dragonite, I mentioned that earlier, Mewtwo, Mew, um, Misty would be a really good one. So that wasn't a secret rare, which is really good since uh, that added a ton of value. We got a non hollow out of this next pack. All right. Still a lot of booster packs left. Unified Minds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We could do it. We could do it. All right. We got a Dratini. Fungus. We got a Sneasel. Karate Belt. Ooh, and a Weavile GX. Nice. Regular GX pull helps a little bit. Code card out. Woo. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. We take hits. We take regular GX. I, I, honestly, we're moving. It really, it's like, it's kind of uh, a, you know, it's a big gamble because you, you don't know if you're going to get those alt art cards out of your box. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, I, I don't know. Even with some really good hits, you might not make it. 
Mag Mortar, non hollow rare. But again, I will say, like, best case scenario, PSA 10 price is on, like, the full art cards. Just so we know, because, yeah, you know, a card could be a PSA 10 and go from $100 to $400. But you never know either. That's, the, that's like, the other side of, like, the gamble there. Is, like, is, is it going to be a good condition card? You turn board. We got a Steelix. Also, make sure you guys let me know if you're enjoying this type of video. I think this is only, like, the second or probably, like, the second or third time that I'm doing a video like this where... We just go straight through a booster box, and we just see, like, what's going on, what we can pull. Nice Murkrow artwork. Again. <laughs> there we go. Tapu Koko Hollow card. Sun and Moon era. Pretty cool era, looking back at it. I gotta say. Cosmic Eclipse is another really nice one. Unified Minds is awesome. Come on, Moltres. Look at that. And we got a non holo Haunch Crow. But if you guys missed it, actually, um, the last one that I did was Burning Shadows. And, uh, I won't spoil it if you didn't see it, but, um, it was interesting. It was very interesting. Pikachu, Lickitung, and a non holo uh, We're getting closer to the halfway point so far. We do have a full art alt art, which is by far the best card pulled. Uh, two GXs and then two hollows, and then, of course, we got the bulk, all that good stuff. Oh, I think I saw a little, a little, a little glimmer. I think there's something in here. I can't tell if it was a full art or, or something. Or hopefully it wasn't that. Oh, okay, Keldeo, regular GX pull, our third regular GX of the day. Okay, we, you know, we're around, I think we're a little less than $50 right now in value. Uh, maybe a little more if we include the bulk, but uh, we're, we're right around there. We got a, oh, look at that Pikachu. Hoot Hoot as well, man, with the Zapdos. Even Scraggy looking good in this set. I gotta say, even Scraggy do. Another GX, okay, I'll take it. This is the Pokemon that I'll never be able to pronounce the name of, but yes, this Pokemon. We got it. GX. Couple more on the left side of this unified mind box. Mine? Mines? <laughs> Mines? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Snorunt. Drill bird. That was not supposed. That was that was not that funny. I'm probably the only person laughing right now. <laughs> Executor. There we go. Okay, not hollow. And I don't even know why I said there we go because that didn't help at all. I'm losing my mind right now. Unified minds. Minds unite. Shroomish. Drifloom. Very nice reverse, actually, and another non-holo. Okay, so this is the last car, or last pack on the left side. Uh, maybe we can just get one more full art before we get to the right side. We'll be looking better. Um, as of now, you know, doing all right. Oh, Tapu Fide, non-holo. All right, we are halfway through the box. I'm adding $20 onto the total for all the bulk in this entire box with the reverses and all that stuff. So that, that's pretty fair to add another $20. So we're at $65 with the bulk included. Okay. I want to see. We, we got to we gotta catch up to, uh, we got to get to 100 like r right now. We got to get to 100 if we stand a chance here. Uh, but again, one massive pull that's PSA 10 worthy would make it worth it. Kangaskhan, that's actually a very cool hollow card with the two Raichus in the background. Starting off that right side with a hollow hit. Come on. We need more. We need more. We need more. Let's go. Only one full art so far, but again, luckily, it was a alternate artwork tag team card, which is extremely helpful. But we're gonna need, we're gonna definitely need more help than that. Um, also, let me know, guys, if you have any boxes that you think would be worth trying out for this series, let me know. So, some of the stuff, it's really hard. You know, like, if, if there's a box like uh, Team Up, that's like a thousand, I don't know how much it is, say it's $1,000, $800, something like that. I don't even know how you would get your value out of that. Like, that's just, just so crazy. Let's stick with boxes that are a little more realistic. Like, this box is three, $350. Still tough, but I feel like probably more realistic. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Just something that makes kind of makes sense, right? Like, Unified Minds kind of makes sense, but it also doesn't make sense. It really just honestly depends on what you get and how the quality is. We got a non hollow right side not looking too good. We really got to pick up the pace here. I'm going to need a, a full art or a secret rare, like, now. I need it, like, yesterday. Oh, no. An Unpheasant non hollow. <laughs> hey, listen. It's fun either way. This is just, uh, you know, it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps experimenting. Have a little theme going with the video like this. But in all honesty, honestly, all honesty, it's all good with me. Whatever happens, I'm having fun with it, you know. To be able to make a video opening up a box of Pokemon cards. It's amazing. Ooh, Jirachi GX. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. 
But at the same time, it also helps out, hopefully, you guys, with, you know, if you're trying to make a decision, you will just watch a video, you can kind of get an idea how many GXs we get, how many full arts, how many hollows, what it's looking like. Obviously, it's going to be different, but you get, like, a general idea. And also, at the same time, you know, if you're thinking, should I buy this card in the set, or should I try to open a box up and hunt for it? But, I th you know, there's so many different factors, because at the same time, too, it's very fun to open up packs. You got to put that into the equation. You know, if there's a price to pay to open up packs, it's kind of like you got to... You gotta think about the, the experience as well and the fun you have doing that. To a Tapu Fine. Let's go. We got um probably around, I don't know, eight or ten packs left at most right now. So, eh, you know what? We're strolling through it. We got a Hoopa Hollow hit. So, one full art. Just one. Why? Okay. Should we cheat and look at the code card color? Let's do it. Oh, wait. Can we even cheat? No, I don't like cheating. I'm not doing that again. All right, let's look straight through this one. It's a green code card, probably nothing. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> hey, listen, it's fine. I will do the experimenting here, and then you guys can uh, be the judges and, and what you think about it. Bidoof reverse, bless the pack. No, Moongus. Bidoof couldn't even help us on that one. All right, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? We're around like $70 in value right now. Remember, we paid $350. Ooh, Drift Bloom. Raichu makes the, the photo again. Or the art. I don't know. I don't know why I said photo. I don't know what, what I'm thinking. What do we got? One, two, th three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven-ish packs. If I counted that correct. Lucky number seven to last. I, I, I'm grabbing on anything right now. Oh, Meloetta, not bringing the goods. Hey, you know what? Going into this, I thought, you know what? It's it's just. I said, you know what? Two times. Now three. If you count that one. I was thinking, just open it, see what happens, right? Scrafty dude, what are you doing here? Bro, this box is actually, I mean, the GXs are cool, but like, where are our full arts? Where are our full arts right now? Listen, open brilliant stars, okay? <laughs> if you're trying to decide, if for some reason you're trying to decide between Unified Minds and Brilliant Stars, the new set, open up Brilliant Stars. Ooh, Rowlet, an Executor. Tag Team GX. Actually, that's our first regular Tag Team GX non-full art today. Okay, that's, that's probably pretty good. Man, what would have happened if we actually didn't get that full art Raichu Tag Team card? Uh, like, we'd be worse. We'd be worse. I I'm just kind of trying to scratch my way up to $100 in cards. <laughs> I'm trying my best right now, guys. I really am. But we only got three packs remaining. Unified Minds! Is it worth opening? We're gonna find out. We still have three packs. Still could be a secret rare hiding in here waiting for us. Magnezone hollow hit. So remember, actually, I just, I almost forgot. At the very end, I am also going to sort of give you a best case scenario on any cards that would be like worthy of paying the price to grade. Right now, it's just the full art tag team Raichu, which is a cool card. I don't know what it's worth, but we'll find out what that card will be. Oh no at the very end which we're almost there last pack of magic i'm starting to think that uh that there's not going to be a secret rare in here unless we're incredibly lucky and somehow it was in the last spot so really need some last pack magic riolu sylv valley and a non-hollow neuver no so check this out if somehow we got a 10 on our secret ratio which is this one right here um, it actually is the fifth most valuable card around like $200, but, uh, it's got a pretty thick border on the right side. I don't know if that's happening, but either way, we got at least one really cool card. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want to check out more content, feel free to click on one of these two videos up here. Hit that subscribe button on your way out, but that is going to do it. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one.